Hey guys, real quick. Um, so today I found a video about the rapture. It was a firsthand account. Um, the channel that I found it on, uh, I've listened to a few videos and it seems reputable, but it, I just felt like it was really appropriate. Uh, I prayed about it today and I'm going to share it in a link. Um, what's happened is that when I post a video and go to the comment section to post a link, <laughs> a couple times it's just been completely, even though the video is downloaded, it gets wiped. So I don't know. But um, again, I'm not real tech savvy, but thank you for reminding me if the link doesn't show because I can go back in and, and fix it. Um, but I will say this. Let me go. Hang on. My, my The kids are asleep. My wife's asleep. But uh, I will say this. Um, is that um, we are completely... enveloped and protected by the blood of Jesus, Yeshua. Uh, this world is wicked. It's constantly, you know, trying to bend and pervert you and damage your spirit. And then all, eventually it just tries to overwhelm your soul. And right now I believe, you know, it, it's been going on for decades, but the the wearing out of the saints is, is really heavy right now, really strong. And I would just, um, I would just suggest maybe fast a little bit or, um, you know, through prayer. Um, and, uh, I do want to share, uh, some scripture. Hang on. Let me do it real quick. Let me get my, hang on. I have my Bible out. And so I ended up in Jonah. The book of Jonah, um, it is Jonah chapter uh, 4, and um, or Jonah 4, and it's verses 7, or actually, um, let's see, hang on, sorry, it's uh, Jonah 4, and just read the whole thing. Jonah disple dis displeasure rebuked. It's a very powerful passage about how Jonah plants a plant and how God is the one who made it grow and God is the one who destroyed it and he tested Jonah. Very powerful um, because everything is, is his and um, belongs to him. Um, but guys, I would just say that I hope you can hear me. I'm just trying to not be too loud, but I would say that right now uh, I'm constantly praying for people. I'm praying that that every Christian gets raptured and taken off this this planet before anything really bad happens. And um, you know that's through the blood. That's, that's through his, his sacrifice for us. Um, and, you know, through that, it, it makes you really realize how blessed you are. And by that, by through that, sin just starts melting off of you. Not that, you know, we're not created to be perfect. We are not. I mean, our flesh alone is not perfect. It, it dies, it withers. You know, it's weak, but our spirit, when I'm talking about the commandments and 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 that, it's 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 in the spirit. That's, that is what I'm focused on. We are not judged here on earth by the commandments. We're not under the law. You know, the law is something that the Ten Commandments, I don't really consider that. I just consider that is that is virtue. You know, that is how to li live a better life. And it it's so true because God set those out as a platform. He knew just by following those those simple 10 and then wrapping them up in the bow around them, being love, that you'll have a more fruitful life. You'll have better relationships. People will trust you. You'll go further in this world. Not that that should be anyone's goal, but, you know, we do have things that we need to be doing while we're here. 
in, in this world. Um, but I wanted to share that. And I wanted to share another video that I found. Um, you guys check it out. I'll make sure I get it in the link properly this time. I'm, it may have been on me, but my comic was completely gone. Like what I wrote and then the link was completely just whitewashed. So, but I uh, hope you guys have a good night. Love you guys and uh, we'll talk later.